Wait. Where was my fantastic intro? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Wow, you all missed it. And relaunching the game doesn't let me show it again. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, fine. Let's start the game. It's been forever since we've done this one. Are you ready for the first tutorial? When you press the start button... Oh, okay, you get the idea. We'll get into it. I don't need to read that to you. So, yeah, you can freely swing the camera about. Your object is to get the tiles from uh, the origin spot into the goal and not have them fall off the edge. So that's the goal. So this is how you do it. Easy, right? How hard could it be? Do, 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 do. All right, so all right, now we got two tiles. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, we have a collision. Oh no! All right, so uh, how the crap does this work again? Does this work? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Number three. Alright, and then you've got directional tiles that will move things. Oh, you can actually rotate these, I think. There we go. Congratulations. Yeah, so this, so far so easy, right? This rotates left and right and left and right. Or right and left and right and left. And then we got this. Uh, how does this thing work again? Oh, that's a teleporter. And so, yeah, here's how you want this to work. So my block rotates right, goes through the one teleporter, and toward the goal. And let's check out number six. Tutorial six. Uh, oh, right. When blocks hit a wall, they rotate. So in this case, yeah, I think they always rotate clockwise. So. That's the tutorial. We've done this before on stream, although none of you here remember it. Uh, so, what was the first puzzle that I've not completed yet? That was the easy category. Uh, should we try a medium one? Alright, just to try to get back into the swing of this. I've got two tiles that point up and one tile that points right. How did I do this last time? There's an up tile. Uh, and here's an up and a right. Yeah, I think that did it. I can rotate this. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Uh, shit. Well, that's not good. So if they're bouncing back this way, is this what I no? Because it's always going to turn right. Uh, the solution to this thing was like counterintuitive. Some nonsense like this. And then for this one, I don't remember. Yeah, this is not correct because the yellow blocks are just going to go off right off the edge. Oh, also, there's a collision there. Alright. Um... Alright, does this work? But then where would this go? Oh, just kidding. That cannot possibly work. 
Um... It. This, there's no way this is even remotely close to working, but oh, what can I do? Wow. Like, forever ago, I was trying to solve some of the hard puzzles, but evidently these are pretty challenging. Oh, uh, does uh, the right panel go here, perhaps? And then this maybe goes here. Let's check that out. Nope, that's incorrect. Is there a wall there? Yeah, there's a wall down here. Let's try putting the tile there. There we go. Directly into the goal. However, this one is reflecting backward because when we hit the this edge, we're rotating right. And the right rotation hits this wall, and then rotates right again, and it comes back this way. Um... Well... Well, what now? How did I solve this the first time? I mean, this both down arrows have to go in the top plane here. There's no way that this kind of arrow could possibly be useful on this plane. Unless it's on the bottom row. Um, but why would that be useful? That makes sense. How did I solve this the first time? And you could ask for hints down here, but that seems... I should just get Dark Twinge hooked on this game and have him solve all the puzzles for me, because these are really freaking hard. And he's really good at puzzle solving. What happens if I do this? Alright, that's not ideal. Oh, okay, so this has to go here then. Um, which means that this has to go somewhere else, like here? Oh, that's... that's right. This is how I did it. Yeah. There can't be any collision between the blocks. Oh, that went diving off the edge. Because I put it in the wrong column. Or the wrong row. There we go. Let's see, this is capturing, right? Yeah, okay, you guys can see it. So we got a reflection here. But here we get a collision if I do it this way. So I can't do that. If I have the orange block hit this wall, it just turns right and falls off the edge. Um, oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, to get this working, I actually channeled both blocks into the same pattern. That's how I did it. 
Um, and the orange block just made an extra loop here. Uh, and somehow still managed to resolve the rest of this. So how did I get these paths to follow each other? Maybe this... No, if I went this way, then the yellow block would fall off this edge. Ah, I'm missing a detail somewhere here. But this... Oh, that didn't work either. Not close. Alright. I don't suppose I could have them follow the same path this way, right? Alright, and then put my little arrow here, perhaps? Oh, we still have collisions. All right. Maybe something like this. Now this seems really collision prone. There's no way this could be an answer. Yeah, this causes a collision right there. Um. Likewise, this is going to see a collision on the same tile. So... How do I get these paths to overlap? Oh, I'm sorry, this still causes a collision right on this tile. So this path cannot pass through this column. Uh, I have to pick some other column. Does this column work? I doubt it, but... Oh! Okay, that is a possible column. Does not mean it is correct, but it is at least possible. So how about this? Oh, right. Yeah, the right turn property. Um, I can't rotate the damn things. That's the problem. That is a huge problem. <sighs> what the heck? Maybe? Is that gonna cause a collision? Well, not the way I thought it would. Uh, does this cause a collision? If not, then this is probably the answer. Yeah. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy every time. Nice. Alright, that's a medium puzzle. We've beaten all the medium puzzles. Let's take a look at a hard puzzle. So the ones that have the little luminescent background are the ones that we've not solved yet. Like this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five tiles with which to solve this thing. Uh, and we can see... Can we see inside this guy place tile in there? Yeah, I can. I mean, 
it won't do me any good to place tiles inside the little labyrinth part, but I can place tiles there. So the goal is to get the orange and the orange goal and the green and the green goal. And this goal could be a bit challenging because, well, yeah, basically these blocks have got to do a 180 from where they're at. Huh. So, like, if I were to stick this block right there, um, this would cause a collision immediately, right? No. Well, that's weird. Um, even so, I don't have a way to keep making them turn left all the time. Without a left turn block, that's going to be kind of difficult. I mean, it's doable. Actually, now that I think more about it, but still. Orange block's going to go here, here, and then up. And something like this, I guess. There's no way I just solved this. These puzzles are supposed to be difficult. Yeah. Oh, right. This is the wrong kind of block to stick here. Because it's going to cause the blocks to go back upward, not to this direction. Um, so, other than that, it was a great idea, but yeah, here it doesn't work. Because I can't force a left turn to occur. If I could force the left turn, that'd be so much easier. Uh, um... Alright, so without the ability to do a left turn, what do we do now? Also, that music's kind of intense, so we're gonna turn the volume down a touch. Um... But yeah, this seems pretty straightforward. It's just the other one. Oh, hang on. I could lift this up now. Stick this here instead, but... There's no way that this is the right tile. Absolutely no way. But, let's give it a chance. Let's hear it out. Yep, it's wrong. Alright, so... Yeah, what do we do with the green blocks? I don't suppose I could do this, right? That would be too easy. Well, close enough. We got one of them into the goal. That's kind of like succeeding. Um... Hmm... There's no way I could get the blocks back down this way and bounce back, right? No, that would not be possible. Oh, I can't get the... So... For the orange blocks to end up in this goal... Hang on, how do I reset the puzzle? Is escape? Wrong button. Escape does not reset the puzzle. Uh, well, it kind of does, but... Alright, uh, so the point of this green tile, I guess, is to alternate between what it does with green and orange blocks. So let's stick that there. And assume that all the green blocks are going to go this way and all the orange blocks are going to go the other way. Um, let's just be super optimistic about that for a second. And hypothetically, if that works, where does everything else go? Um, I don't know. Hang on, we need one of these here, otherwise we lose our orange block. Yep, 
Yeah, so now we need to handle timing of the green blocks. So... Um... How do I force the green blocks to be delayed so that the orange one makes it through first? Wait. This might actually work. See, so yeah, both the orange and the green block are going to travel the same path. And then this is going to sort them by alternating, making the blocks turn right and left. Holy moly. These puzzles usually take me at least a half hour apiece. Often more. And I just solved it. Alright. I guess we'll take it. That was amazing. Can we watch that again? Congratulations. Oh, I don't even get to watch it. No, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna celebrate that. I actually solved one of these. Because they're actually really super hard. Um, so... Let's see, how did we do this again? Uh, we put this over here, and we stuck this up, this down, this here, and then another up arrow right there. Alright, now where's my best angle for all this? Unfortunately, there's no zoom controls, but, um, yeah. That's still really cool. I'll try not to have the background animating too much up there. Yeah, let's try to capture this again. A little bit of background animation, but not too much. Even so, I think it's probably better that I get uh, some other streamer hooked on this. Hang on. Um, yeah, I was debating taking a screenshot, but then I realized, wait, this actually shows the solution of one of the puzzles. So probably not best to share that in somebody else's Discord. still really cool. So the developer of this game went on to publish several other games, uh, apparently none of which interest me anywhere as much as Rush did, so... Um, yeah, they had this game like on the most amazing sale ever, but also the concept of this game is really clever, very original. And the puzzles are insanely difficult. Um, if you don't believe me, we're gonna look at one of them. This is one of the puzzles. This damn thing. So we got like a yellow source, a red source, a green source, and an orange source. And the object, it's, I don't know how, I guess somebody's managed to solve this at some point. You're given one of these, one of these, two of those, one of these, two of these, and two of those. And without having any of the blocks collide into each other, get all the blocks into their respective goals. This actually seems like something that, um, that uh, Chip's Challenge Solver might be able to 
uh, solve as well. So there's an open source library for optimizing these sorts of problems called fast downward. Or you can describe a problem in terms of all these attributes and explain what's explain to this engine how things animate one step at a time. Uh, and it'll take these generic puzzle solving rules and generate a solution. Um, and one of the limitations it had a number of years ago was the ability to count things. Um, so, like, if you say, I'm going to have two downward arrows, the, this particular library didn't have a mechanism for specifying the count of a, a resource. You could just specify where all the resources are at and how they iterate. But, yeah, this puzzle, freaking impossible. So, yeah. We have an orange and a red, and a green and a yellow that are all set to collide with each other. Because these paths already intersect, it, sorting them out is that much harder. Especially when you don't have the right arrows. You, I have two... Like, these are a finite resource. And since the paths are overlapping, like it's so difficult to unwind the paths. I don't think I could solve this today. I don't think I could solve this this year. It's that bad. Um, it's like, for example, I could stick some arrows here, but then I have to deal with like all kinds of other ways these things could collide. So we could say this is gonna go, and this is gonna go, and fine. But what do we do with the green and the yellow? I don't know. Who can say? Um, what we do know is that now, since we've used up most of the arrows, um, and since when blocks collide with walls, they turn right, I'm kind of SOL at this point in terms of what I can do with these remaining blocks. I only have one up arrow, and I have two things that need to go up. Like, that's a major, major problem. So, yeah. I have no idea what to do. But, we could run it and watch the collisions happen. And there's the collision, and that's that. I have no idea how to fix it. And of course, almost all the arrows point this way, and there's only one that points the other direction. I mean, maybe the solution is you need to build one big loop that covers all the goals. That might be an idea. Uh, it seems unlikely, but you have to start somewhere. And either your hypothesis is right, or you lose. Um, that's pretty much it. Alright, let's just stick it there, and stick this here. Can I scroll? Okay, I can scroll to pick a different resource. Um... Alright, we can take a look at this and watch it fail subtly. And then you could delay one of the blocks with one of these delay tiles. So that reduces the incidence of a collision. So, it's nice when these blocks yield peacefully to each other, but... What's colliding now? Is it red and green that are colliding? Maybe I delay red. Um, hmm. I mean, yeah, delaying red might do it.
Oh, green and orange still collide here. All right, can we delay yellow then? I mean, there's only so many ways that this could be put together, right? Um... Hang on. Well, we could try this too. Uh, wait, I got this incorrect. This would need to go like that. So the yellow tile moves the block without rotating it. Alright, let's get rid of these delay blocks and see where the next collision occurs. Oh. Okay. What happens if I put this here? Is this faster somehow? Nope. Not at all. Alright, what if I put both of these delays right there? Is this better? Whoops. Yeah, that's not any better. Um... Hmm. Wait, does that do a rotation? I didn't think this yellow block did a rotation. Oh, but the orange... Okay, the... Yeah, I see. Interesting. I forgot the orange needs to rotate. Uh, that's an issue. Hmm. It's not as if I can just do this, right? Because now our other blocks are going to collide. Right. So, and since I don't have two lefts... Something's not correct. And I thought it was clever. I thought it was so clever. Alright, where do these collisions happen again? Orange and green. Can I somehow just delay orange by one? Is this viable? Nope. Nope, there's still gonna be tons of collisions this way. Um, I could stick another delay there, but... Yeah, this is no good, because then red is too fast. Um... And delaying green is not going to fix anything either. Alright, so this solution is no good timing-wise. That's too bad. Wow. Wait, can I do this? This seems crazy, but could be worse. And then if the orange is missed, time do this. Alright, and then if our yellows miss time, do that. Okay. Maybe I need to speed up the orange. And further slow down the yellow. Shoot. Wait, what happened there? Oh, the green is heading the opposite direction of the orange. Oh. Still, this looks right. On account of which arrows I have remaining, this kind of has to be right. Um. Hmm. Alright. Could I take these tiles and... No. The 
orange and the red are going to collide if I do that. That's not an option. Just to show you what I'm talking about. Well, that's kind of cute too, sticking them on the intersections, but still. Uh, oh right, the... yeah. Yellow and green are destined to collide anyway. Wait, can I not stick these on the inside? Oh, I can. Nice. Maybe that delays yellow just enough? No. No. Um... I'm not even focusing on trying to hit the goals just yet. I just want to see if I can traffic cop all these things without having them collide, but that seems more and more unlikely every time I place down another block. Every time I place a block, I see more and more of the ways this just goes wrong. Um... So, what now? Probably my solution is completely bogus, and I should start over. That looks interesting. Or how about here? So, yeah, that's a way to sort a couple blocks. Alright, well, I'll take that. That's actually a very good start. Um, problem is the rest of this isn't going to work at all, but um, let's pretend for a second it will. Alright, so... I want the green and the yellow to go in this path. Okay, wow. Jeez. Okay, what? Oh, right, and then we need to delay yellow so it doesn't hit green. Oh my goodness. I'm a genius. We're gonna watch this a second time, because it's just too good. I've spent way too many hours trying to solve this thing, and then just now, on stream, I solved it. That's amazing. One more time. Uh, from some other angle. How about from here? I don't know, like... Yeah, this is interesting. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, huh. Well, it's all downhill from here. We cannot possibly improve on that. Um, that was extraordinary, and nothing short of that. Um, possibly that's the pinnacle of my achievement in Rush. And, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I would strongly recommend this game on the Steam App Store. Um, I'd also recommend this on, like, wherever else you can get it. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, really, really interesting concept of a game. Um, given just how terrible I am at Sokoban, at any kind of block puzzle, like, I don't know if this game's actually for me. Um, 
but yeah. Puzzle games are pretty interesting. Um, but this one will break your mind, heart, brain, soul, everything. It will all be crushed in the wave of Rush. Um, yeah, I know this has been a really brief game playing session, but I think I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.